Hey guys, in this tutorial you will create the main menu screen in Unreal Engine, so when we hit the buttons they will work. For example, I hit quit, and it quits the game. Or I can look at my credits, something shows up, and when I hit the back button I go back to the main screen, and when I hit play, I can play around and my character actually works. So, I'll show you how to do this. First thing we will have to do is to create a new level to create our main menu in. So, go to content, third person BP, maps, I'm here in a third person example map, and these are already here. So right click and let's create a level, let's call this main menu level. Then open this one up, I can save this level. And right now I need to create the menu to put inside of this level. So let's create another folder for this, name is UI of user interface. Then right click user interface widget blueprint. This will be our main menu. Open this one up and I will dock this right here because this will be our main menu screen. First we are gonna do some little settings right here because we have to put this menu onto our screen. So go to blueprints and open level blueprint. Now we want this blueprint, I mean this widget blueprint, to start from begin to play. When we begin playing this level we want this shown on screen. So drag this out, create widget, and the widget we want to create is here our main menu. So we are going to work on this pretty soon. Then drag from this pin right here and then add to viewport. So we are going to show this on the viewport, namely our screen. And make sure this blue wire is also connected because else you will get a black screen. Then we are going to right click here and get our player controller. Because we want to enable some player controls or disable the ones that we don't need anymore. The first thing we need to do is set input mode. Now we are not into the game in VR in our menu, so this is UI, set input mode to UI only. And we also want to see our mouse cursor then, so show mouse cursor and then set show mouse cursor, not get, set. And make sure this is ticked so you can see it. Now double click to rewire this node to make it a bit more organized. There you go. Then hit compile save. So right now our widget from our main menu right here, our widget is created. It is shown up on screen. We make sure our game is not playing anymore and we can see our mouse cursor so it is shown on screen. So when this is all fine and set up, we can close this tab and we're going to work on our main menu. There is already a canvas panel where you can drag stuff in and the first thing we are going to do is find a widget switcher and drag this onto our canvas panel just like this and this will make our widgets switch between the different tabs because we are going to get into a different tab and then switch back to the main menu. So beneath that we need two more canvas panels and drag them on like this. Let's give them proper names so we know what is this. So the first one will be our menu and this one will be our credits. You will also need to align them perfectly to the screen, so select the widget switcher. And you can just drag this down to fit full screen or go to anchor and then control click to fill up the entire space, hit compile save and we can continue. Now we are ready to add buttons to our screen. So let's type right here button and let's click menu and drag the button onto our menu. And here is your button, so let's name this the play button. We can increase the size of the button and the position of the button. Let's say we want this right here on the screen. We can click anchor and then choose the middle part here of the screen. And you can tweak these values, the color and the background for example. And then you go to text and drag in the text on top of your button. You can also tweak the values of this text. For example here in font, you can also increase the size of the text that you would want. So this is fine for me. And you can change the name here of the text block. Let's call this uh, play text, for example. And the text value right here is play. Now, naming these things will make your life a bit easier. You don't have to do this. You can name this anything you want. So we have our play button. Maybe just increase this a little bit. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, now having the button selected, we can duplicate this so we don't have to do this the entire time. So make sure this is selected, then Ctrl W to copy paste and drag this one below here, for example. 
and one more time Control w and one more time here Control w and let's move this last button here to credits now you see our widget switcher in action because when i go here i see my three buttons and then i go to the other canvas then this button is applied let's put this one here select the text and let's name this text back so this is back to menu okay let's work on our different buttons so the middle button right here will be our credits button select the text credits for example and then the button here below let's name this to quit button select the text the quit text for example and let's make sure we quit right here compile and save so we know this is not perfectly aligned you can just tweak these values here you can also drag this around as you need and make this really perfect and you can style these however you would want so for example the text right here also change the color the font and make it as nice and pretty as you would like now let's go for more functionality right now first thing we select the button not the text the button and then we can go here below and there is here event on clicked and let's click on this and when you hit the play button i want to open my game level so open level we can choose by name we can type it in or object reference and i can see the levels for example the third person example map was the one i started in now previously now when i go back here to blueprints level blueprint our input mode was set to ui only now we need to set it back so get our player controller and when we hit the play button set input mode we want it to the game and hitting this play button will make sure we have our game input and the level is opened back to designer tab hit here on the quit button this is easier so let's do the quit button first and also hit on clicked and it's very easy so just type in quit quit game and it's already pretty easy then back to the designer tab let's select our credits here and on clicked now we want to look for our widget switcher drag this in and then get the widget switcher because we need a reference to that widget switcher then set active widget index and we're going to set this index to one now let me explain what this is we went here and we created a widget switcher then two canvas panels menu and credits and normally we count from one two three four but in programming we count from zero all the way up so this is position zero and this is position one and if i dragged in the new canvas then that will be position two and so on so this is position zero and this is position one so here our index of one will open up here number one which is credits and for our back button we will need to open we go back to here to our menu which will be position zero so on clicked we need to do the exact same thing so Control w get reference to the widget switcher but change the index here to zero let's just compile save once again and let's go back to our designer tab and let's go back to our credits and let's add some text for the credits now get your text and drag it on top of the credits make sure it's on top of this or else this will bug out so drag on this there's our text block oh, i missed it this can happen so make it a little bit bigger a bit easier to drag around and you can just insert any text that you would want so for example this is a text that i copy pasted before let's increase the size a bit okay so this is why this was hard to select now i won't remove this part of the video so you can really see i also have these errors and how you can fix them so do it like this for example then anchor this to the middle of the screen so if you have different screen sizes it's still anchored to that screen there and then once again hit compile save now for finishing touches you can also add a background image so look for image and make sure the widget switcher starts here 
if you want it on all your widgets you should drag this in between here so it's between the main canvas and the widget switcher the image is right there so how you can go here is to go to brush and we have to select an image okay in my content drawer let's import and i already have an image this image should do and I found this one from pixabay.com. These are free images that you can use inside of your projects completely for free. And with this selected, I can drag this in or just hit this arrow right here. And I can go here to anchor and I can drag this to full screen or I can hold control and then click here. And this fills up the screen right like this. Once again, compile save and let's try our menu out. So if I hit the quit button, this quits, great. I hit the credits you see the credits right here now I can see this white on top of white so you can also change this one and hit back I go back to my main screen and when I hit play I can play and have my character controller and he's doing whatever I want now one little tweak before you can really say that your menu is finished is to go to edit project settings maps and modes and right now the game default map is set to our third person example map we are going to select our main menu level and the startup map, it can be this, but for the game default map, make sure it is your main menu. 